couldn't believe it. Ink could be real? It all spun around my head until I saw only black, floating in the darkness. My mind kept replying the scene over and over again, reminding my body of the touch of the incubus lips against mine. However, I began to feel the smooth silk around me, and my eyelids unwillingly opened. Ah, uh, where? I awoke to find myself in an unfamiliar place. Where was mom? Dad? I was pretty sure this wasn't my room. Oh, wait. I live in my grandfather's house now. Of course it would be unfamiliar. I rub my eyes and survey my surroundings. I was still in the clothes that I arrived at the house in. I was laying in a silk-over bed. I remember coming in the afternoon, so why was it night time already? Suppressing a yawn, I stretched my arms. Maybe I should order some food for delivery. I was feeling pretty hungry. I was about to sit up, but I suddenly realized that I wasn't alone. You're awake. Ah! Uh -huh. Oh! Since where was he standing there? And who the heck was he? A guy in my bedroom. Did did we? Uh, it's no way. Hmm. Uh, sorry. I think I was saying my thoughts aloud. Why was I apologizing? The stranger who only said two words since I woke up. Wait, you are really familiar? Then it all came back to me. Incubus, he was an incubus. He and his brothers came here for refugee, and two of them kissed me, and then I fainted. And that was how things came to this. Oh, he was leaning against the far wall, looking at me. My heart began to race as I thought of the endless list of possibilities this situation brought to me. I hated the thought of being under an incubus power, especially in a bedroom. I instantly jumped up and grabbed a pillow, covering myself with it. I felt stupid, yes, but who knew what this guy could do? Do your worst, this time I'm prepared! <sighs> he didn't move, I guessed that he wasn't going to attack me. <laughs> Sorry, one thing still concerns me though. I'm not going to use my powers on you. Uh, how? How? I can read minds. It's an ability I was born with. Each of us has a different ability. Outside of our usual mind-altering powers. Great. Even more surprises. I grew even more worried about the situation I was in. I see. Um, how long have I been asleep? For a few hours. <laughs> it's already gotten quite dark outside. Uh, wh where are the others? My brothers are downstairs, cleaning up the blood from the lobby floor. <laughs> and making you dinner as an apology. Oh, okay. That's... Unexpectedly sweet. Oh, it's the least we can do after invading your home and two of us using our powers on you. Ah, uh, you've got a point. Right, I had forgotten about that. It still leaked me that they had practically taken advantage of me at that point. Even if they were demons, it was pretty rude to demonstrate the powers by kissing me. I wasn't some kind of human plaything. All of this seemed pretty unreal. It was like something out of those romance novels that Naomi sometimes read. I wish I could have just went back to sleep and forgotten all about it. Maybe I should have just called the police on them? Then I would have never landed myself in this situation. Uh, do you feel well enough to get out of bed? Yeah, I think so. Oh! <laughs> Trust me, I won't let you go. Uh, I'm not so sure about this. I promise. Uh, okay, I trust you. Good. I was speechless. It was scaring me as if I weighed nothing. It was so strong. They didn't seem very quiet and calm about everything. Especially with the situation we were in. However, there was a sort of longing in his eyes when he looked at me that wasn't lustful. It was more in uh, admiration. Once we reached the lobby, I decided that I felt well enough to walk on my own. As strong as he was, it was like he was carrying nothing. I didn't want to make him carry me everywhere. Yeah, that would be mortifying. Thanks for carrying me, but I think I can walk by myself now. Not saying that I didn't like it. I mean, I like it. Not in a weird way, of course. Like I get carried around all the time. What I'm trying to say is that it was really nice of you to do that. I started to fumble over my words again. Real smooth. It's no problem. I'll be heading to the dining room then. Uh, Alright, see you. 
he gently lowered me to the ground before he walked off quietly, disappearing into the shadow of a dark lobby. Oh, hi! Suddenly, a boy who looked around my age, or possibly younger, bounced up to me. He looked vaguely familiar. Oh, wait. Um, you're, uh, Matthew? Right? Mm hmm, that's me. Are you feeling any better now? We were all worried when you suddenly passed out. I'm fine. Really? Your face is kind of red. Do you feel sick? No, I'm fine. I'm sure of it. I might have been blushing when Damien was carrying me downstairs. How embarrassing. Well, if you say so. I hope Sam and Eric didn't make you upset. It's okay. After all, I did hit Sam after what he did. And about Eric, I just wanted you guys to prove to me what you were saying. I suppose seeing you be our real then. I wonder how exactly I got myself into this mess. First my grandfather, then a fight with my father, blowing up at Lizette, and now this? I certainly had a knack for getting myself into a sticky situation. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. He shoved his hands into his pockets with a cheery grin on his face. Wait for it. Wait for it. Is he trying to do a magic trick? Ta-da! Uh, what is that exactly? He smiled as if to wave it off, but when he opened his eyes and saw what he was holding, his face froze in shock. Wait a second. What did I just make? This, this is... What he brought us from his pocket was a creepy looking doll. Ah, what is that? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> his face fell considerably and he dropped it onto the floor, scooting away from it frantically. Get it away from me! You might be possessed by a demon or something! Uh, but isn't he a demon himself? That's not what I wanted to make! I just wanted to surprise you with a stuffed animal or just something to cheer you up. That looks like it came straight out of a horror movie. He slumped his shoulders and looked down at his feet. Uh, it's okay. You don't have to look so dejected. I mean, it's certainly unique. What? I appreciate the thought, but uh, no thanks. That's too bad. Are you sure? I peered up the door wave it around him. It was funny teasing him. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll stop. Uh, anyway, I'm heading back to help out with the food. You can come over if you're hungry. Mm, I think I'll go with you then. 